Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source DBA Technologies. I am going to starting a new MySQL DBA batch on September 4. Coming to timings 8 am to 9 am IST. Duration 20 to 25 hours. Maximum it will take 1 month. Based on topics, daily I will take 1 to 1 and a half hour. Fees 15,000. Original fees 35,000. Coming to content. During our training, we are going to explore all key concepts, including History of MySQL. Here we are going to discuss features, history, usage, customers of MySQL. Then we will discuss installation. In installation, we have different types of installation, including M repository, RPM, which is Red Hat Packet Manager, then generic binaries. In Windows, we have two types of installations main MSH, which is Microsoft Installer, then Zip Park, which is no install Zip Park. Okay, then we will go with access control and account management it's nothing but user management how you can manage users roles privileges connection validation everything we'll discuss then we'll go with utilities so my sql utilities or programs or application all are same we have in my sql we have client to server non-client utilities then section 8 also it's a part of utilities only like running multiple instances using some utilities my sql d multi-server okay MySQL D underscore multi. Then coming to storage engines. It's like a very interesting and hot of MySQL. So it's a very important topic. Like we have different types of storage engines, including MyAsm, InnoDB, Memory, Archive, CSP, Merge MyAsm, Black Hole, Federated. Okay. Then we'll discuss architecture. Two types of architecture. I mean MySQL architecture as well as InnoDB storage engine architecture. Then we will go with isolation levels. It is like acid properties. That is mean atomicity, consistency, isolation, deliver type for isolation. Here we have read committed, read committed, repeatable read and serialized. Then we will go with the locks. In the database we have read lock and write lock, table level and row level. Here also same. But coming to backups and restore. So in any database we have physical backup and logical backup. Here also we will discuss physical backup. Again two types offline and online. Logical backup and using csv how can manage backups and restore then fine term recovery using binary locks and binary lock returns then we will go with mysql server locks locks are server locks all are same here we have alert log audit log binary log slow query log relay log and delay log different types of locks then from section 16 we will discuss all high availability concepts including source to source replication source to replica so source to replica is nothing but master to slave, source to source is nothing but active to active. Both will discuss. Then we will go with advanced replication which is GTID, global, global transaction ID replica. This is advanced to normal replication which is introduced in the version of MySQL 5.6. Then we will go with multi-source replication which is introduced in the version of MySQL 5.6. This also we are going to discuss. Then partitioning. In MySQL we have different types of partitioning. Range, list, key, has, column partition, sub partition. Then upgrade. It's nothing but patching in other RDBMs. Here we'll discuss upgrading from 8.4 to latest version 9.0. Okay. We have two types of upgrade physical upgrade and logical upgrade. Physical upgrade is nothing but in place upgrade. Logical upgrade is nothing but taking the logical backup and restore and then apply the upgrade. Then we'll discuss GA tools, graphical user interface. We have MySQL Workbench, which is open source from the mysql.com website itself then we have other tools also db where okay we have multiple tools we have then that also i will tell you what other tools are there then we'll discuss default schemas like performance schemas this information mysql what are the tables it contains and what is the use that we'll discuss then performance tuning and optimizers it's okay this is section 23 okay i have more than 15 years of experience okay I trained many peoples worldwide, okay. Not only MySQL, I trained my multiple technologies, including MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, MongoDB, Couchbase, Cassandra, Red. I know multiple RDBMS as well as NoSQL database. Even I am MySQL, Postgres, MongoDB certified as well. Okay? My students working worldwide in many MNCs like uh, Infosys, DCS, Wipro, HCL, Rillasoft, Microsoft, HP, Flipkart, Amazon. Okay, many companies they are working. Friends. And coming to 
classes how can attend i will provide you the skype link okay in the video itself in the description i will provide the skype link you can attend using that skype link first session it will be on demo so history of my sql usage features everything we are going to discuss from second session we are going to see all the installations and all so better have one linux operating system because everything i will teach you on linux operating system only better have one linux operating system it can be sent to os or fedora or red hat or ubuntu your choice okay vmware plus one operating system or in hyper v also you can install our work virtual box work this okay and coming to timings as i told 8 am to 9 am daily one hour fees 15000 okay and on daily basis i will provide the pdfs for each topics then you can download and in skype we will get recording video for each session okay you no need to worry about the concepts and training and you no need to worry about the documents okay material also i will provide for each topic okay friends that's it okay see you on eight nine uh, sorry fourth right okay see you on fourth friends okay then bye